Uh, welcome to the stream. It's uh, 8 a.m. Wednesday morning, Australian Eastern Daylight Time, Sunday. Yes, yeah, so I'm playing Master of Orion. This is a turn based four times uh, strategy game. One of the space games with planets, you colonize planet planets. You have space battles as well. And you look at that sort of thing. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to do the tutorial. Uh, I did play this game about two months ago. You'll find it on Twitch. Uh, but I'm going to play the tutorial again because I don't remember it that much. So, and the tutorial leads on to the main game anyway. So, yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoy. Single player. We'll do the tutorial match. The Human Republic. Fulfilling a dream once thought impossible, all of mankind has come together as a single world of traders and diplomats, explorers and scientists, pressing toward the final frontier. Venturing forth from their blue planet Earth, they now seek to explore space, discover ancient civilizations, and coexist peacefully with their neighbors from a position of strength and solidarity. Welcome, President. I am Victoria, your personal advisor. It is my job to help you manage our people's needs and keep you updated on what's happening on the furthest reaches of our dominion. So I'll just check that my webcam's okay. Yeah, so this is the start of the tutorial. Uh, this game I purchased ooh, four or five months ago on Steam, that on special. $13 Australian for the main game, and they had the Antares pack, an extra race for another $5. So, yeah, I, I really like this game, so that's why I'm playing it again. So, yeah. Yeah. so left click to okay, thanks. Excuse me, President. Yeah, so it's saying there's if you want to split the fleet up or left click the fleet or the ship and right click the destination. So we left click that one. And where do we want to go? Uh, unexplored select destination. So we right click the planet. And there you go. So I'll just move the webcam out of the way. Maybe move it here. Maybe move it down there. Probably end up moving it again anyway. <laughs> okay, so one of our colony ships has reached a hostile planet. We do not recommend setting a new colony here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the fleet on the bottom left is made up of a colony ship. The two scouts. Uh, yeah, the same not to colonize, but yeah, this is the bug in the game. We do not recommend bug. I think we've got no choice. So I think you have to. So here we colonize. There we go. Be 
population, credits, defense, security, morale, pollution. So it's pretty deep with regards to each planet that you do. Um, so what it tells us to do now is to choose production. And it's telling us to... What structure do you build on this new colonized planet? Research lab. Research laboratory. So build a cell prime, select the structure, ship or colony project to build. Research laboratory. Oh, this one might be infinite. Yeah. This helps you with the... If you build this, this helps you with research. 20, 30 turns in the future. So. The tutorial advises us to build this one. So. Bonus plus two research. The research laboratory has a state-of-the-art computer equipment, creating a superior research environment that generates additional research points per time. Start the production. And uh, go to the next column. Go to your other colony. This must be the original one. It looks like Earth, doesn't it? They're telling us to build something here. So Sol 2 is the original one that we left from. Uh, this is our main planet. Choose production. Here they're telling us to build a frigate. Eight turns it'll take. So you've got laser cannon. Laser cannon. Nuclear missile. And so you can read these tool tips. Yeah, I love these games, they're so good. Yeah, really, yeah. I've played in the space too, I've played Galactic Civilizations 3. Yeah. And so you've got laser cannon, yeah. half strength combat speed. Small and cheap attack vessel with a limited load capacity that forces to be highly armed. So, attack rating here. Yeah. And we'll build, start building. Sorry for the interruption, President. Okay, so my camera's in the way, isn't it? Yeah. Just move it up here. So it's telling us that the population of a colony affects research, food, and production. Assign a population to work on food will speed up population growth in the economy. While doing so, to production or research will reduce the EDA of structures and research terms respectively. You can assign a population manually or define a colony focus which will distribute the population automatically. To reassign population, click the hold. Click hold the unit and drag it to its new position. Okay, so you can... The menu doesn't work. Manage population. Drag a food worker and drop him on, drop him on production zone. So grab him. So what's happening, what, what the tutorial is saying, there are three branches of production on this planet. Two out of ten, the two out of six work on Research, three out of seven work on food, one out of production. So they want to balance it a bit. Move pr from production to move from food to production. Left click, hold down the left mouse button, drag it there. Go back to system. Left click done. Now choose research. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? That's in the way as well. Let me turn down the volume. Okay. Oh, come on. Do it up. So it's advisable. 
Physics Institute of Physics. Scout ships. So down the bottom, you've got left click one of the ship that one there. Right click to the war point. So, so with the right now, click the right, the right now spot. Take you there. Fleet needs orders. So this ship here. Selected, right click to here. Select destination, right click warp point. There. Yeah, lift. Next turn. screen which is up here yeah just move it a bit down let me just move it down here so. go to empire screen excuse me president <laughs> yeah economic advice so uh, presence is where you're you lead our empire at the highest level. Here you can see an overview of general information, much of which can be changed from the screen. Be careful with the tax rate as it directly affects your mail as well as income. You can also manage the colonies and flag those that are of interest for you. When you would like a reminder though, you will also be able to control how the influence and the work Yes, yeah, so Sol Prime is the one that we colonized. Research. Left click research. Research continues as expected, President. Yes, it is. It's like, hello there. How are you? Thank you for watching the stream. <clears throat> yeah, this is just a. This is where you guide our scientists. I'm just reading the text here. Yes, so we're currently researching physics. Uh, six turns left. Espionage. Just a minute of your time, President. <clears throat> yeah, so we don't have the technology for training into stellar agents. However, once we can do that, you may see this panel of access to the list of spies and give them orders for moving and espionage tasks. So, 
Yeah. Done. Go to fleet management. Go to fleets management. This one here. Excuse me, President. Yeah, from this panel you can view your glorious fleets, you must set a point on your time to zoom in on it and give it new orders. So Yes, I've got two scout ships. Uh, close that. Go to path to victory. This one here. Just a second here. Yeah, here you can gauge our progress against the other races of the galaxy. You can view all our overall score, the combat rating of our mighty fleets and armies, and technological prowess our economic power and perception of our empire. In addition, you can see charts that will track our progress. So what it's saying is these are the, there must be one, two, three, four, five civilizations. And we're one of them. So view the timeline. Just a minute of your time, President. Yeah. Users drop down many to see charts that show progress and score. I'm just reading the text. Here. Okay, yeah. So what it's saying, instead of going back to a save point, reloading a game because you're stuffed up, you can use the timeline here as well to go back in time and change the course of history for yourself. Um, done. Yeah, click next turn. Move the fleets. So to actually move the fleet, you have to left click the move button here as well. Excuse me, President. There you go. Yes, prison our scouts have reached new solar systems. Keep using them to explore the galaxy for the honor of humanity. Next turn. Just a minute of your time, President. Right. Military advice. You may occasionally want to check up on the colonies to make sure they are being as efficient as possible. You can plan production in advance, buy out current projects and view the structures on the plan in more detail. If you hover over the various icons, you will receive detailed information explaining the numbers you see on the screen. So, we will enter the colony. Uh, left click on the planet. Just a minute of your time, President. Yeah. Please buy out this frigate. It will be the first ship in our combat fleet, but we can use it to guard our sector of space. Okay. So instead of waiting one or two turns, we have the gold up here. Buy the frigate left, click on the buy button. 48, I think it's 48 credits. Done. So we've already got it. Go back to system, left click the done button. Fleet needs orders. And yeah, left click here. Alright. This is the scout ship. Select destination, right click planet, go there. Hmm. I think we discovered a planet in the Dagon system.
Yes, I left click next turn. Excuse me, President. Yeah, you know, before getting into combat, it is important to consider the enemy's strength and their last possible outcomes. Our ships are equipped with a special device capable of estimating the enemy's fleet strength. To compare the strength between different fleets, first click your fleet and then the mouse open enemy fleet. View the fleet. Just a minute of your time, President. We will need that frigate now to defend our homeland. Yeah, so there are two pirate models. Uh, select your fleet. Left click. Just a minute of your time, President. If you move the frigate to the warplane entrance and the pirates, you can intercept them. So. Right click there. Just a minute of your time, President. Yes, yeah, so. Maybe here. Piazza. Sorry about that. <laughs> you don't want to become famous, but eh. Yeah. Thank you, but hey, what can I do? Uh, yes, yeah, so... Use the shield icon to set the frigate to guard status. This will prevent ships of all other races, including pirates, from passing through without a fire. You can explore the anomaly once they have defeated it. So, that one there. Guard or block. Choose production. Yeah. This is our home planet. Yeah. It's a telling us to build. That's on go. Choose production, left click and right. Uh, let's build a space factory. Yeah. The space factory can build a variety of defense and resource structures at war points and asteroid fields, as well as to transform asteroid fields and gas giants into planets that can support a colony. It has no offensive or defensive capabilities at its own. Start building. Go back to system. So it told us to go to the production here because the planet is idle. It wasn't producing anything. So go done. Fleet needs orders. Yeah, yeah. 
that. Sorry about that. <laughs> My dad said we were water souvlaki. But us being Greeks, <laughs> yeah, they immigrated from Greece. So. Okay. Um, let's. Can I go there? The fleet needs orders. Anyway, we can pull it out of auto explore anyway, so uh Options are not available. Auto explore. Oh, I just do auto explore. Left click next turn. Just a minute of your time, President. Frigga blocking the wolf lane on the left side of the screen you see the two pirate raiders. It looks like conditions are favourable for us to win and can let the local commander manage to find a new super border zones. Or you can call for a general retreat or you can take charge prison. Why don't you give it a try? Take command. Excuse me, President. Yes, so no, it's always in the way, isn't it? Yeah, sorry about that. Right now you Sorry, reading the text. Right now, you're in the top down view, which lets you control the ships more easily. See the two pirate raiders on the left and some obstacles. Select your frigate by left clicking and dragging a box around it. Just click on it. Expand your firing range by dragging the top button on the right side of all the way to the top. Because you only have one ship, you can't change the information this time. Yeah, 
guess so. Weapons are home. So that's the frigate. These are the three weapons at the bottom of the screen. So let's press uh, play. Here's your off direction report. It gives you some information about weapon and ship effect in place to help you better decision, make better decisions about ship designs and which technologies to research. Research completed. Uh, click that. Our scientists have made a new discovery. So let me go to options and audio. Just make it a bit lower. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Biology, engineering, economics. Let's do biology. And let's go to audio again. Sorry about this. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Yeah, biology. You yeah, said so do hydroponic farm and biospheres. It'll take eight turns to do the biology one. Hydroponic farm. And the biosphere. So we'll do that one. Terrific. Yeah, no 
stories I do. Do next turn. Move. Yeah, this one. I can't do anything about this really. Because the planet has to grow over time. The Soul Prime is the one that we just colonized. Go to the next. Arriving at the anomaly, your fleet spots an abandoned container filled with rare minerals floating unguarded in open space. You tell yourself some smuggler on the run must have jettisoned their cargo. Nobody is around to claim it, so you add it to your treasury without a second thought. There you go, so we've got 85 credits. Uh, go next. So you can't really do anything. Uh, this, this frigate is stationed here, is guarding the point. Two scouts are on autopilot here, auto exploring, and the two planets are on like they're auto producing. It's just turn based, that's all you can do. So you just click next turn, next turn, it's very simple. Excuse me, President. Okay, yeah, our first space factory is ready. So what it's saying there is to this is a space factory and we can build things. So we will say move it to there. Uh, yeah, so you can you can guard. Sleep, scrap it. Uh, well, I don't. Okay, you have to choose a production later on. So. Build a surveillance system. It deploys a nest of surveillance systems in a war point, capable of monitoring the activity from afar. Five turns to produce, start building. Now the other one here, it's telling us our main planet to build something here. You can build a colony ship. Yes, yeah, so we should, because we're a colonizer. Yeah. Let's build a colony ship. Start building. Or not, yeah. Yeah, why not? Done. Zoom out. Move. Next, move, so you got this one, these are the two scouts, they're on the water explore, and uh, actually I'll save the game as well, save, copy save to Steam Plant, yeah why not, a uh, human, What's that? Yeah, the 30th, 2020, 9th of December. Yeah, why not? Uh, oops. Anyway. Yeah, I'll call it Adelaide UFC. Tutorial. Not very good spelling, eh? 
Give me a copy save to steal the cloud as well. Ooh, that stuff up the stream. Better not. No, just save it. Okay, so... Click next, sir. Welcome to GNN, Galactic News Network. You are tuned to GNN, the only network that tells you what you need to know. Bringing it to you live. Galactic News Network, the galaxy's most reputable news source. It says we've done 15 turns. Uh, that there, it's building the. It's a building. The space surveillance system. Next. The yeah, biology research complete. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Yes, so the hydro. So we've researched the hydroponic farm and the biospheres. They can be built on one of the planets, probably. I'll just get the the music lower as well. Just it's beautiful music, but. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Yes. Fast discovery. Yeah, the hundred so the biosphere allows colony yeah, your biospheres allow colonies to better control the environmental conditions under which they live. So this is the opposite of defense. It's it helps produce the planet, makes the planet better. These sort of technologies, a hydroponic farm, helps in farming. Farming is for growth, food, food for people. The colony grows, the planet becomes more industrious, more profitable in the long run. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I love these games. Oh, I just love it. Strategy titles. Uh, yeah, so... Yeah, the hydroponic farm is an automated sealed environment in which food is grown, even on otherwise lifeless worlds. The farm increases the food output of a colony. Done. These are suggestions, these little icons here. 8 turns, 16 and 16. I'll go for the lower one. Engineering. Destroyer. And the anti-missile rockets. So, Let's do that. Fantastic. One. Good. Done. Let's zoom out a bit. Let's go move. Next. No pirate fleet detected. And there you go. A raider. So that's uh, two attacking, one defense. No. The tooltips, they should have put tooltips on here, but anyway. Uh, Wargaming, the company, the development studio that makes this makes World of Tanks, World of Warships, and World of Planes. Yeah, it's a Russian company, Wargaming, so they developed this. They might have taken over the IP. Or, uh, the fleet needs orders. Aha, uh -huh. there you go. Space factory finished. There you go, build it. Yeah, space surveillance system. Uh, oh, the, okay, so this can be used to guard. Skip, sleep, 
skip a turn, sleep forever. Uh, let's move her here. Oh, we can build something here now. We've got 520. So if I, I'll move the curse to the top left of the screen. That's the credits. Uh, command points. So the tutorial doesn't cover this, but yeah. if you have the the AI or the advisor on, you'll be told. You'll be given hints what to do. You won't be lost. So level, security level. So let's go through this. I'll do my tutorial. The credits. So the credits are used to maintain and speed up the production of ships. Credits come from population taxes and from special structures. The colonies, you got 21 credits from taxes, minus 6 from the structure upkeep. So from the colonies, over 17. Diplomatic deals, nothing. Fleets, blah, blah, blah. Command points are used to maintain fleets. Each ship has a different upkeep cost in command points according to its hull size. Command points are provided by structures and achievements. If the fleet's upkeep requires more command points, then your empire can provide it. Yeah, we'll start deducting maintenance costs from the credits. Extra credit, command, blah, blah, blah. Level. Yes, I'm just reading the top of that. Yeah, research. Uh, empire, research, diplomacy. Uh, blueprints. Anyway, let's, let's ignore that. What do we build here? We will build a military outpost. This military base defends a war point from incoming attacks. Persistence paints in all battles at the war point. A ship self-repair 5% per turn, so it repairs itself. Restricted to system with colony. Costs 50 production, takes 10 turns. And so let's start building that. And uh, Bob's your uncle. Now on the two planets, just as a reminder, we are... Yeah. The research laboratory has a state-of-the-art computer. So we're building a research laboratory and that takes time. A lot of turns. The other colony, we are building a colony ship. Enables the establishment of colonies on other planets. Done. So let's. Uh -huh. For us, dis so we've discovered here a system. For us, uh... yeah. Zoom out with the, the mouse wheel. Oh no, there goes our scout. Oh, I've lost our scout. Doesn't matter. seeing here, uh, this pirate, this one here is heading for, it's going to be in confrontation with the frigate ship. Anyway, we'll go back to here. Threatening fleet detected. Yeah, that one there, so. Yeah, economic advice, sorry, economic advisor is telling us, war and taxes are inescapable in this galaxy. Every population unit on our colonies contributes a small amount of credits to our treasury. You can adjust this amount by selecting a tax rate from Empire Management. Keep in mind high taxes have a negative impact in morale. Take note, Josh Frydenberg of the Liberal Party, you are the treasurer in Australia, so don't do too much taxes, thanks. Uh, okay, 
thanks. Move. Here we go. Take up so the on the left is the pirate, the enemy on the right is us. You can auto resolve, which just does away with the just gives you resolve. Take command. We don't want to retreat. At the bottom, very ch very victory chance is very good. The green status bar goes all the way to the right side. Our frigate is much more powerful. Take command. Okay. Tactical battle setup. Choose your tactical battle experience. Take control of your forces while an AI admiral takes over micro management. Yeah, we'll do this one. Cinematic. Let the AI take over the battle. to continue. Right. Nuclear missile. Yeah, so energy weapon accuracy 33% from our side. Missile accuracy 66%. We find six shots, they fired two. They received four shots. And yeah, so that's that. So we've only got one scout ship, eh, which is this one. Yeah, these are probably colonizable planets, eh? Why are they already colonized? No. If, if they are colonized, it will tell us what the civilization is. So, uh, yeah. A new ship design has been discovered, so we'll go here. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Okay, so the ship design is the destroyer, so... Yeah. yeah, so this is slightly better than the figure. Anti-missile rockets. Anti-missile rockets are a crude accounts measure designed to intercept and destroy coming missiles. They are fired automatically on a short cooldown, but can only target enemy warheads. They are useless against fighters or torpedoes. So, okay. Update your blueprints. And, uh... Yeah, so this is Frigga. Uh, because we've researched, the technology has increased over time. To update the technology, we update the blueprints. Your ships become better, so at the bottom at the bottom right, upgrade all. It'll cost you, but we've got the credits here anyway at the top left. And uh Yeah, so laser cannon is what we researched, which is new. And uh that's the destroyer. But 
the update is here. Mm. Yeah, so this is the new one, laser cannon. Laser cannons deliver highly focused, coherent beams of light that inflict damage is the most basic beam weapon available. Doesn't have armor penetration. But... I'm gonna upgrade all. Now you might not want to upgrade all, but we'll upgrade all. Done. There you go. Now which is the better one? So they call it Frigate 2 because it's been updated. Oh, the destroyer must be better here. Yeah. Yeah, so that's... Beautiful ship, isn't it? Yeah, so if you hover over the nuclear drive, the nuclear drive is the source of the faster than light propulsion systems. It relies on an inefficient fission of heavy nuclei. Yeah. You've got titanium armor, standard armor for all ships, provides little protection other than keeping the ship from being torn by the stress of interstellar travel with the occasional stray asteroid, and keeping the crew shielded from the cosmic radiation without armor interstellar travel is not possible. So laser cannon, nuclear bomb, and neutron blaster. A bit of everything. Yeah, this is more powerful than this one. Done. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? All right. So it's giving us hints. Your chiefs of staff recommend we focus our research here. Uh, yeah, we'll do advanced magnetism. Neutron Blast Modifications Class Shield oh, okay, yeah. And the ECM Gemma Okay, we'll do this one And, uh, done Next Next Excuse me So what they're saying is that Sol 2 has grown, the colony's population has grown. You can manually assign populations to the task that best suits your strategy, or you can select a specific area to focus on from the pull-down menu and have it automatically distribute population accordingly. You can reassign population any time from the colony screen. So. Another follower on Instagram. Yeah, you can manually assign population to the task that best suits your strategy, or you can select a specific area to focus on from the pull down menu and have it automatically distributed. So, okay, thanks. We'll go to here. Yeah, uh, research your food, your production. Uh, leave it there. Uh, that's still going. Pollution. So it's saying the pollution, oh no. What can you do? I mean, one thing at a time, because this is a tutorial. 
So, uh, Bear with me, I will be right back. Yeah, just I'll be right back. Just give me one or two minutes. Sorry about that. Okay. No, I'll leave that as it is. Where's my fleet? Okay, so a scout, frigate. Thank you. Oh, it's gonna come back there. I might change that. Welcome to GNN. Demographers note a 50% increase in births on a human colony world. The exact cause is uncertain. You do know where babies come from, don't you? Yes, yeah, so a population grew in there. So military outpost has been built there. And uh I don't know what else. I would build another one then. Or can I not? No. Skip sleep. I'll build one there. because I know from the previous tutorial that the pirates come here. So we'll build a military outpost. A new leader.
Yeah, Connor survived, so he's a pilot. Connor survived his trial by fire after facing elite Siliquoi Death Squad as a green recruit in the United Front Armed Forces. After retiring honorably and collecting too many medals to count, he decided to go solo and work with the military as a contractor. Fleet beam defense plus 10% command. I'm hiring him. And we will. Where is he? Where do we assign him? Uh, we will assign him to. The frigate. Can I do that? Or not? Yep, yeah, there you go. So he'll beef up that frigate with the attributes. Done. Your leader has approached us. Team and discovered. Alright, so. If I may have a moment. Space factory. Take command. It's a very good chance of victory. This is GNN. Do not panic, but long-range scanners have detected a gigantic space dragon lurking in a previously unexpected sector of space. And now, sports! Soul 2 is growing. Yeah, another one. So, we 
into production. Yeah, one more turn to produce a colony ship. Paraffin to take the new chain. Chain discovered. Oh, let's get him out of there. Let's go out of here. This is GNN. The year of love, as it was known to the locals as far as we can translate, has ended. Population growth is back to normal at the Human Republic colony. Colonists are expressing some relief, especially the females of the species. Our colony ship is ready. This vessel can settle a colony base in any habitable planet. Yeah, so yeah, let's produce something. Fifteen turns. Laser cannon, nuclear bomb, neutron blaster. Hmm. Yeah, we'll build this one. We'll destroy it. Krebs discovered. Kellis discovered. Yeah, military outpost built. So we're sending our colony ship to, to the Dagon system. Uh, yeah, okay, so. Yeah, 
Advanced magnetism research completed. Just a minute of your time, President. Yes, so... Which one do we want? The jammer or the shield? We definitely want the shield. Shield strength 50% of base hull. Energy shields protect their ship from physical and energy attacks, absorbing and mitigating damage before failing. Higher class shields are tougher and negate more damage. If allowed to regenerate without taking damage, shields are able to recover back to full strength. This technology will be used to improve ship designs when using auto upgrade. So we'll do this one. There you go. Our scientists have made a new discovery. And you've got the neutral blaster modifications. Upgrade blueprints. Yeah. Upgrade all. There you go, so we'll put a shield on the frigate and the destroyer. Done. Yeah, nuclear missile. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Uh, electronics. Yeah. yeah, we'll do electronics. Fantastic. Right, so we can build here, can we or not? Oh, yeah. What's this? Skip. No, build here. Yep, yeah, we'll build this one. Space surveillance system. So it, can, it scans the area for deep scan. Uh, it spots enemies from afar. Okay, this one. Pardon me, President. There you go, we can colonize it. One of our colony ships has reached a viable planet. Colonizing planets from different planetary systems is a good way to expand the range of our scanners. Choose planets with good biomes to boost population growth and high mineral richness to increase production. To establish a new colony, select the fleet with at least one colony ship and select colonize from the fleet actions. So that one there. Colonize. Go. something here. Uh, automated factory. 
Research Lab, Starbase, mm, 60 turns. Uh, Space Factory, mm, 24 turns. Yeah, let's build a frigate. Uh, yeah, I think what I've realized is the frigate in terms of space combat is better than the destroyer. The destroyer is a bomber for bombing planets, but I think the frigate is for if we go up against any sort of spaceships of any kind, enemy craft. So we will build the frigate and uh, hmm. what a joke. Okay. Uh, yeah, laser cannon. Each nuclear missile carries a warhead that inflicts damage on the target ship. The standard guidance system in every missile. Yeah, armor penetration. Yeah, we'll build this one. That'll take 18 turns. Done. Welcome to GNN, Galactic News Network. Galactic neighbors should take heed as the Human Republic has taken over another planet. It's a race to the top for sentient beings across the galaxy. All right. coming. What I might do is intercept it. Uh, go to here. So what, what it's saying is uh, the space factory has detected this coming in. So it hasn't even built the space surveillance system yet. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll cut it off here. President, if I may. Our scanners have detected an electromagnetic disturbance nearby. Okay. So they're saying that on Vox we should Explore this. You are now before the hierarch of the Sacra Brood. Threaten not my progeny, and you and yours may live on. Yeah, there you go, our first civilization that we've discovered. Friend or foe? Hmm, doesn't look like friend to me. His disposition, his calm. The 
a sacra ship, it's a scale. Yeah. I am the mouthpiece of the hive. We are the Clacon. We are many. Yeah. Yeah, this is a scout ship as well. So Let's do this one. President. Mm. Yeah, we've reached the pirate base. These hives of scum serve as hideouts for hostile ships. Okay. Current flu is the skill. Okay. Let's go down here then. Yeah, we've got a space factory there. Can't build it, we've got a frigate. Space factory back to there. Uh, yeah. Um, probably a good idea to. take nine turns to get there as well. Asteroids. Thank you. 
Yes, so from here, the two blue planets are ours. So, what's the colony ship? Is it on a scale? Welcome to GNN, Galactic News Network. Long-range scanners have detected a gigantic space monster lurking in a previously unexplored sector of space. All right, the Callista discovered there. Yeah, there's your space monster. Another colony ship, you want to. I am the Emperor of the Bulgrathi. If you wish to keep your flea-bitten pelt on your back, you'll give my kindred a wide berth. me for something, I'll just be right back. Might as well save it. Yeah. Maybe bring the frigate back here. The 
destroy it? Yeah, let's bring it here as well. It's a spice factory, current form, alpha discovered. If I may have a moment. Now that we've contacted other race, we should try to build a relationship with them. You can contact any race we've met from diplomacy management. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's grown, isn't it? Um, Remember this, the alpha system. We will build military outposts. Build them. So it says ten turns to build the thing. Electronics research completed. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Yeah, laser cannon modifications. The electronic computer. Yes. Sorry, just reading the text here. Yes. Update. 
upgrade one. Now you've got electronic computer now, so... So this has a very heavy defense, this. Done. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Uh, economics. Excellent. Oh, that's the free work there. in the scout ship. Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to grab a piece of cake. Huh? Bear with me. Sorry about that. So we hold those two planets here, and we've got that one. Because I scared. Oh my 
Yes, so the pirate destroyed our scout ship, so we got no scout ships now. Not the end of the world. Uh, Yeah, I'll put on the destroyer. Detected. Yeah, Frigate 4 completed a Dagon. Hmm. Should we produce a scout ship? Strength 10, combat speed, turns, inexpensive and fast scouts are unnamed, unarmed ships designed for deep space exploration. So you can see them there coming in there. So he's launched. Bang, there you go. Oh. 
What a tank. Nah, I can't tank. The fleet needs orders. More. Frigate as well. Let's bring it to there. Yeah, this section is not currently available. Uh, another colony ship. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Fantastic.
Your crew descends to investigate the remains of the pirate enclave. The destruction is near total, but a constant thumping can be heard under a pile of rubble. Further investigation reveals an underground dungeon where the pirates kept an astounding number of slaves. You rescue them and offer them asylum in your closest habitable colony. We can't colonize it, that's the problem, right? Unexplored. Go to there. And uh, go to there. This is GNN, Galactic News Network. Galactic neighbors should take heed as the Mulrathi Empire has taken over another planet. It's a race to the top for sentient beings across the galaxy. Automated factory farm. The hydroponic farm. Production. Mm. 
hydroponic farm. Scanner range plus one, command points plus five. This looks more frightening this one. Yeah. yeah. Bring him in here as well. Yeah. Uh skill. Hmm, Titan and Prime. This is pretty much autopilot this game. Move. If we look at the ships we've got. Uh, frigate, destroyer, frigate, space factory, scout. So five ships. Uh, oh, there's a, a creature there. Take the camp. Take command. Oh 
Well, don't build destroyers, we'll build frigates instead. Oh, that was a frigate, eh? Shit. Did we win? Oh. We destroyed. Yeah, because it's got shields in it. So. This is GNN, Galactic News Network. And now, the state of the galaxy. Current ranking of space fleet strengths. Hand to hand and paw to claw, friends are earned in such ways. We're glad you accepted. Holy shit, another one. Oh, hell. <laughs> we'll have to... Building a colony 
Ashe. Ah, bugger. Ah, bugger, bugger, bugger. Survived. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Advanced fusion. Terrific. The destruction of the pirate base has left several buildings standing. One in particular seems overly reinforced. Your troops blow down its door to find the hoarded treasure of the ragged band of thieves you just defeated. You add it to your treasury, vowing to reward the families of those lost in the fight.
It's growing. Yeah, the research laboratory houses. Missile base. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? Yeah, deep space exploration. Excellent. I have a proposition for you. My thanks.
Yeah, research the problem. The destruction of the pirate base has left several buildings standing. One in particular seems overly reinforced. Your troops blow down its door to find the hoarded treasure of the ragged band of thieves you just defeated. You add it to your treasury, vowing to reward the families of those lost in the fight. This is GNN. And now, the state of the galaxy. Current number of colonies. Yeah, we saw that so we can go. Welcome to GNN, Galactic News Network. A star will soon go supernova near a Clacon colony. Our scientists have made a new discovery.
Fantastic. Just a second here. Get out of here. Let's go down here. Scush. Research continues as expected, President. Diplomacy. Yeah, five civilizations. The other two we haven't discovered yet, so... Espionage. The leaders. Blueprints. So we added the augmented engines. We are fifth in the score here. We would have you weave a union with a clack on. Yeah, why not? Our cooperation is the buzz of the whole hive.
Our scientists have made a new discovery. Yeah, I'm gonna finish up soon, guys. So, uh, yeah. Just look at this and I'll be done with it. Funky farms. Excellent. Yes, so thanks guys for watching and uh, yeah, I might stream uh, tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow morning, but yeah, okay, bye everyone.